Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. So according to Vice News, there's a January 6th attendee. He hasn't been arrested yet, but he's been issuing threats against the FBI and encouraging others to harm them. They say that researchers have traced violent posts on a site called the Donald.Win. This is, as it sounds, it's a, you know, Trump love fest on this site. And they trace these posts back to a man named Brandon Lee Sanders, who uses the online pseudonym of The Pimp. And it's spelled with a one instead of an I. So it's T-H-E-P-1-M-P. And Sanders was really open about his actions at the Capitol and his intentions in the lead up to the attack. In late December, Sanders allegedly wrote, quote, Carrying a gun and shooting someone are two totally separate things. I'll be carrying, and I pray I don't have to shoot anyone. Then on January 5th, he allegedly said, quote, any Congress members who says there is no evidence of fraud is a liar and should be removed from office and tried for treason and or sedition and then executed. And then following January 6th, Sanders allegedly posted, quote, I was there. Come at me, fuckers. I even entered the Capitol. I'd do it again in a heartbeat, but this time I think I might do a few things differently. Still, like I said, Sanders remains a free man, has not been charged, has not been accused by the FBI of anything. But after the search of Trump's golf club and his home, Sanders started making threats again toward the FBI this time. So these were posts under that pseudonym that they've traced back to him. They say that two days after the raid, Sanders wrote, quote, everyone in FBI involved is complicit in overthrow of our republic and must face the guillotine. And then later that same day, he replied to another user's post and he said, quote, just figured I'd come in here and agree with you and cement my reputation as a domestic terrorist with the FBI. Fuck the FBI. Hang the traitors. So and then he put domestic terrorist in quotations. Later this month, Sanders wrote, quote, we need trials, jail and executions where appropriate. The time for playing nice is long gone. They had their chances numerous times. I'm done. No compromise and no reconciliation. And then the researchers say that Sanders has access to numerous weapons, including an AR-15, and he may belong to a local militia group. They were also able to track Sanders back to a YouTube channel and a LinkedIn profile. So Vice reached out to him for comment, but they say that he never responded. So this is where we're at, guys. This is where we're at. Why this guy hasn't been arrested yet, if in fact it's true that he was at the Capitol, I don't know. Maybe he didn't go inside. Maybe he didn't go on Capitol grounds, but he sure makes it sound like he did. And why they're allowing these other threats to slide, I don't know. Anyway, I'll keep you posted on all of this. When and if I hear more, I'll let you know. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.